Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a voiceover because the audio quality just sucked, so moving on. Here I have a wig review with Elevate Wigs. As you can see, this wig is more natural looking than my regular wigs, and the packaging is also pretty different from my regular wigs. It also comes with a wig hanging thing that I will show you later, and it's called a wig stack. Anyway, this is what the wig looks like. As you can see, it's a mix of black and some dark red that you can see over here. It does look very natural in terms of texture and is a lace front as usual. As you can see, it is also layered, so it has a little bit of a more natural look as well. Here you can see the parting already looks natural, and it's in the middle, but you can part anywhere. As you can see, wherever I choose to part it, there's enough space for it to have a natural look, which is great because I'll probably need to make very few alterations, and it just overall looks far more natural than my average wig, which is good news because that means less work. It also is thinner, and as you can see, it's not super thick, which is good because it adds to a more natural look as well. Here there's the wig stack thing and I struggled but I built it and it looks like this which I think is great because it's such a great way to store things even inside a closet or something. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the wig off the lace and just put it on my head without alterations to show you what you get right out of the box. Okay, so I'm back. I just cut off the lace. I didn't do anything specific with the wig. The only thing I did do is since this hair color can blend in with my hair, I took out some strands here at the front of my actual hair just to make it look a little bit more natural. But to be honest, I feel like this wig, between the texture and the thickness, already looks pretty real. The only thing is that the cap I have under here is not my usual one. This one is a little bit more yellow, but I genuinely am impressed with this wig because it's not super thick and I'll show you the back. So this is what the back looks like. If you can tell, it's layered. I'm really pleased because I feel like I don't have to do much with this wig. I don't think I'm gonna thin it out because it's not super thick and it is layered. What I would do is probably just pick slightly at the hairline because the hairline too, I think looks good. This is what it looks like up close and I think it looks good. I can't really tell from my viewfinder, but I think this looks relatively natural. I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments down below, but I'll come back once I've fixed the hairline slightly and I'll put a little bit of concealer, but this feels like one of the wigs where I'm gonna do very little work and I like that. Okay guys, so this is what the wig looks like now that I fixed it. I didn't film it because I literally just plucked a couple hairs over here. I put some concealer, it was nothing of groundbreaking and honestly, this was the wig where I did the least amount of work so I didn't think it would have been useful. Honestly, this wig generally is one of the wigs where I've done the least amount of work possible, so I feel like this wig would be great, or these wigs are great for people who A, don't want to spend a lot of time modifying it, and B, maybe are also beginners so you don't even know how you'd want to modify it, and C, also if you wanted to wear this wig out, like I don't think this wig is conspicuous. Like, yes, it has a little bit of the reg I really like, but nothing of this wig to me screams, oh, that looks wiggy, or oh, that's such an obvious wig. I did a side part for this one because people are always telling me that doing a part then the middle screams wig, so I'm listening to you, though I kind of like my middle part, to be honest, but I'm listening. Anyway, I would highly, highly suggest Elevate Wigs. I was really pleasantly surprised, especially with the little contraption where you can hang your wigs behind the door. So I highly suggest you check out the website. I'll link it in the description down below. Let me know what you think as always. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get right into the fan art. 